really good. Good to talk to you today. And I uh, just want to talk to you about your involvement in the film. Yep. And, uh, you know, what you felt like when you uh, read the script and maybe if you identified with the character at all, uh, you know, the ups and downs of their life and uh, what ultimately happens. Uh, just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Um, from the moment I read the script, I felt super drawn to the character of Samuel for so many reasons. One being that he comes from a music background and I, I started playing the piano at the age of four and have been like so drawn to the to music since such a young age. And uh, I feel like also in my life, I've had to overcome obstacles and Samuel has had to overcome obstacles in this in this film and and through that adversity still be a positive influence on society so in this movie uh it's uh, the names aren't real but I, I it's based on a real story right yes okay did you have interaction with the the real characters at all did you get any guidance there i did I did, and I, I'd say the director, Jeffrey Smith, did such an amazing job at um, giving us so much insight and backstory, and um, I know we had rehearsals before we were shooting, and I I have, I don't think I've ever had so much of a character kind of um, overtake me in a sense, and I feel like I've been transformed also personally from from this role and from this film. Oh, great, great. As you read the the character and interacted or whatever, what are some of the things that you felt like from your own life that you brought into the character besides your, your musical ability? I mean, uh, any personality, anything that you identified with? Um, yes, in the film without giving too much away the right beginning of the film the character at a young age um loses someone really close to him and i just so what happened to have lost a friend like not not too far before and um i was able to really hone in on the impact that that can have on on someone's life and um the trajectory yes and, and what do you oh go ahead go ahead wanting to kind of like um make my life uh a part of my life dedicated to to this person right what do you kind of hope that uh viewers will you know what what do you think the lessons are that they'll take from uh, southern gospel well i feel like we're in a time like a where there is um a lot of challenges and some some darkness in, in the world and I, I hope that this film brings light to people I hope it inspires people who um, are dealing with any sort of obstacles this film tackles many things from addiction to um, to loss to just um, growth personal growth so i hope people have a bit more compassion for themselves who if they are going through anything and know that they can come out the other side and i hope that it that it inspires people to keep going even in the face of adversity yeah so your movie is part of a movement uh of these faith-based releases that come out um so many of them and more frequency and continue to get better uh, continue to, you know, kind of raise the bar. Um, how do you feel to be a part of that, that type of genre that's really happening right now in, in Hollywood? I feel privileged to be able to not only be able to use like the gifts that God has given me and also explore the artistic endeavors, but also to use that for a higher good is I couldn't ask for anything more. That's um, a huge mission of mine personally to to bring light, to bring God consciousness into the world. Um, so I, I, I'm I feel honored to be a part of it. 
Max, when you look over your career, can you tell me what, you know, what are some of the highlights that you look back on and say, man, I'll never forget that. This is uh, definitely something that I'm taking with me. I'll always remember. Um, and it's not just because this interview is about this project, but Southern Gospel will definitely, I have to say, has definitely left the, the strongest impact on me because... Um, I mean, even in the film on, on one of the days, like I, I did get baptized. And so the, the experience in and of itself was, was really profound for me and brought me so much closer to God. And um, so I'd say Southern Gospel has been the most significant impact. Another series I loved doing was Under the Dome, the Stephen King, Steven Spielberg series. Um, I watched that. Yeah. yeah. That was, I really love that role and love that project. And um, I'd say some of Walk Ride Rodeo was another, was a Netflix movie I did. And that was another faith-based project that, um, I don't know if you've had a chance to see that movie, but it's a really inspirational story. So I'll, I'll watch it. I typically will go back once I make a connection with somebody, go back and, you know, watch their stuff. Yeah, that that was that that movie profound. Just that the story in and of itself. Yeah. Hey, it's great to talk to you, and I appreciate you giving me your time today. I best uh, wishes on this movie. You know, I pray that many people see it and are impacted by this story. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye.